Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see brief introduction to the MDM Hub console. So once you log in to the MDM Hub, you will see this is first screen to your MDM Hub. So MDM Hub is divided into two major parts. First is called processes. Second is called as the workbenches. Workbenches divided into five major functionalities. First is called configuration. Second is model. Then the secure access manager, data store, and the utilities. We will see one by one what we can configure in the different sections of the MDM Hub. In the first section that is called a configuration, we can first configure the databases. So, like for example, CMX ORS, MDM sample, or any other custom ORS, we can configure. The master database is no required to configure because it is already. Uh, internally it is associated with the MDM hub so what are the configuration changes you are making those will be already written in the master database so in order to configure the custom ORS you can use the database databases section the next section is called as users so this user sections in order to add multiple users which is required for the different functionalities like IDD can have the different users that is Informatica data directory the second MS MDM if, if you develop any custom SIF web services those can also have the different users access and the MDM administrator can have the other users even the data steward can be configured as a MDM hub user in the security provider section, we can provide the third party security. So if you want to integrate any third party security provider, you can use this security provider section. The details of the how to configure and how to use the third party security provider that is mentioned in the configuration guide from the Informatica MDM. Access tools. So for the particular user, if you want to give access, then use this tool called as a tool access and provide the access for the particular user now there are a couple of times we get the business requirement where we need to push the data from the MDM to the down downstream system so this can be achieved using the messaging queue like the Java messaging queue or JMS we call so such can be configured on the server as well as in the MDM hub so once we done the configuration at the application server side, those configuration need to be reflected in the MDM hub. So in order to do that, the message message queue sections can be used. Repository manager. It is very important and very frequently used section of the MDM hub. Repository manager has the different functionality such as validate the ORS. In order to validate, you have to just select the ORS and then click the validate functionality. You can save the your ORS also using this save functionality. What is the current state of the validation? Then the promote. If you are going to promote the changes from the different different environment, use this promote section. So if you are doing the first time, just do the promote. But uh, in order to do the promote, you have to prepare the change list. So you have to use the target repository and the repository where you want to make the change. <clears throat> like the source and the target repository then the import section it will import the the schema from the source to the target export if you want to export your ORS just select and save it it will export as a XML file if you want to import from CWM file you can also do that so you have to just select and open the file where you can we have you have set the CWM file on the same line you can also export to the CWM file as well in the enterprise manager section it is uh, it will give you the brief idea about the what are the section what is the file structure where you have installed the your MDM hub as well as clean server along with the database like the master database and the ORS databases so here we have installed the hub, hub server inside this in my MDM hub server directory the version history is also there if you applying any patches or any hot pixels those will be reflected here for the process hub server process server is nothing but the clean server earlier we used to call as a clean server so 
so it will give you the details about the clean server and its installation in the master database section you can see the master database what versions of the master database like oracle here we can see it's oracle 11g and this is the actually the production version of the oracle one which is used then the version is if you applied any hot fixes or the patches to that oracle version then the oracle data uh, data ors databases like in this mdm hub we have the two ors database one is cmx ors and second is the mdm sample so you can use this section to see what are the details of the particular ors so you can see the the actual connect url or the tns name so this is just kind of gra uh, you will get the brief idea about your environment version history and the other details in the environment report it is a summary of of your server and the database or the ors configuration you can save this as a reference for, for your future uh, installations workflow manager so in this you can add the workflow manager and it's a workflow engine so this will give you the brief idea about your workflow manager so these are the section which requires the master database connection so if you try to uh, connect to the any ors and try to update in this any of the property in the configuration section it will not be allowed so this is all about the configuration section let's see about the model section so when, whenever you select any model property it will ask you to select the particular ors in which you want to make the changes so master database is not uh, we can't do any operation with in the model section if you selected the master database so in order to do any changes for the particular ors in the model section we will select the particular ors so there are different section in the model schema schema viewer system and trust query packages cleans function mapping and the hierarchy so once you select the schema you can add the data uh, base object you can add staging table you can add the landing table you can define match and merge rules any validations rule for the particular um, base object for your business needs so these are the validation rules if you have in jms configuration any relationship or if you are defined then the staging table match and merge rules so these are the different match and merge you can uh, define in this section the next section is schema viewer so whatever you have defined the schema so you can see in the pictorial view so you if you see so yeah if you have the number of tables are more then it will take little more time so you can expand this you can minimize this you can you can save this so there are various options even you can print this schema viewer the so next section is system and trust so whenever you master any domain like the customer or product you will get the data from the different different, different systems so here in this case there are a couple of systems which will provide data to this mdm hub so you can configure those systems and the trust values for the each system for the particular data so these are the trust and the system configuration section then you can define the queries so as per your business requirement you can define the display and the put packages as per your functional as well as the business requirement like for example if you want to define any idd related package for the display and the update you can define if you want to define any package for the SIF usage then you can define or if you want to define any package which are relevant or required for the match or data manager and merge manager you can define here the inbuilt clean functions are provided in the cleans function section so that will be used for the standardizing the data most of the time the clean functions are used in the mapping even you can write your own custom function and register such custom function in the mdm hub mapping it is uh, it is one of the important thing to make the standardized data and run the staging job so mapping happens between the stage uh, and the 
landing table hierarchy hierarchy is used to define the hierarchies between different entities so if you want to create the hierarchies relationship you can go ahead and use this hierarchy section so this is all about the model security man security access manager we also call it sam and it is very important and it is one of the security feature in the mdm hub so you can define the secure resources those resources which will be access the power from outside as well as internal to the mdm hub for example base of like account based object if you want to make this secure you can just select it for that you need to take right lock and if you take right lock one the buttons will be enabled so this is for up uh, you have to select the i will select this base object and this one to make a private or you can make us a secure then you can define roles in the role section you can define users and groups so there are the you can create groups you can assign user assigned to the data you can see the what are the user assigned to this particular database add users to a particular group and the same lines you can have the other features so these are the details from the security access manager next is data server so data server is very important or the integral part of the mdm hub so if you implement any mdm hub solution data steward comes into picture because those will be the ultimate user or the potential users for the mdm hub implementation so data manager it will give you the brief idea about the how the data is there means you can check the data with the cross reference you can check the what are the matches in the merge manager the records will be get what potential match record can be merged into a single record that can be viewed by the data steward then the hierarchy manager configuration so this will here the hierarchies will be displayed depending on the configuration which is made in the model section so these are the things from the data steward in the utility section so we can configure the batch groups batch we can run the batches we can configure the process server details then the audit manager and ship manager and any other custom user object registry let's have a, a brief view on this the batch group we can create a different batch groups so you have to take right log okay add batch group so similar add batch group you can define uh, different different processes like the staging process landing process it means staging process load process match process each and its dependency on one another in the batch viewer you can see different different batches so synchronize batch stage batch revalidate recent match table promote multi merge match analyze match manual and merge manual merge load key match initial index smart search data this is new to the uh, mdm 10 version generate match token external match custom auto merge auto match and merge accept non match record as unique so there are these are the several ways or there are several batch jobs we can run we can group this by date on which date we run or by table so each table we can have the different different processes or we can define by the procedure type so what what type of the process it's running so we can also have the filtering we can access this by the sort wise in the process server we have to configure the process server so this is the way just click the plus sign provide the property zookeeper zookeeper properties are related to the search mass in the idd with respect to mdm10 then the audit manager in the audit manager you can audit the uh, all the source system how uh, and its related properties like the if you if we are using any cp apis we can monitor in the audit manager ship manager it's used if you are going to use any or specific api you can generate the or specific api here by 
uh, you have to select all these tables then you have to run, generate the generate and deploy the or specific api it will generate the endpoint you can use that the web service endpoint to access the mdm hub functionality through the soap vi tool or any other web service testing tool jms schema so those are used if you are using the jms related things like the messaging queue related activities in the user object registry you can register the user exit you can register your custom store procedure even you can register java cleans function this is i mentioned in earlier in the model section we have the cleans function we can write our cleans function in order to register those cleans function we have to use the user object registry and the custom java clean function even if you want to add any custom button function you can do using this functionality so for that you have to implement c provided or the informatica provided interfaces the next part of this mdm hub is the processes so there are basically three type of process consolidation processes management and the share in the consolidation process these are the things refresh data consolidate record create a new consolidated record add a additional source system so you can do that in management section you can have the daily data management task manage cleansing for configuration configure the setting for the rule based processes then the manage environment setting so if you want to do such management task you can go ahead and use the management section of this processes in the share you can prepare a newly installed mdm hub environment and you can share configure the security for the administrator and the next is configure security for non administrative users so these are the helpful sections and can be configured using this processes section of the mdm hub i hope you will uh, you got brief idea of the mdm hub and in the upcoming session we will see each section in detail way if you have any reviews or any comments please mention in this video below thank you and see you soon